voice is not audible sir your voice is so low sir okay okay it's okay uh, can you uh, hear right now are you okay yes sir okay yeah let me uh, explain first uh, uh, one or two problem then move we move into the uh, motion in a straight line okay uh, okay so as i uh, as we discussed uh, previous classes about the dimensional analysis and uh, what i mean importance of dimensional analysis so today uh, we are going to discuss about a very important uh, kind of like you know iit question but uh, i'm not make you like you know so tough suppose let us say there's a equation f is equal to a t square okay plus b t okay plus c okay and which uh, here f represent a uh, force okay then t represent uh, time okay then a b c are the some physical quantities okay but we have to find the dimensional formulas okay did you get the question yes sir so here f is the force okay so f represent this equation okay yes, so you know this equation it is given this is like a general question every time like i am say iit question so they will ask you to find the dimensional formulas of abc okay so how do we calculate is a question uh first thing uh you should understand here okay i mention here f is a force right so by looking this equation i would think every term in the equation represent force this is also force this is also force and this is also force is it clear dimensionally whenever someone ask you suppose if i write v yes, equal to u plus at what did this means what is the meaning of this this is also velocity dimension this is also velocity and at also velocity right a into t gives what velocity only right acceleration into yes, time acceleration is v by t into t t cancel you get only v so every time whenever you write the equation every term in the equation represent same dimension as a, as the physical quantity which is a left uh, lhs suppose you you are thinking that lhs is a velocity here so in the our case force is lhs left hand side in the right hand side we have a three terms but they should be every this is also force and this is also force this is also force if some suppose if this is not a force so you can conclude that this is not a actual right equation something wrong in the equation so every suppose if there is a additions a subtraction whatever between the terms but every term in the equation represent same dimension yes, as the term which is on the left side okay so is it clear right now the question is it clear first question yes sir so every term how many terms are there here when i said term means completely the term of this this is also one term this is also one term so we have c is the one term bt is the one term and the other one is at square these three terms represent what force right every force, term is a yes, force sir. okay according to this equation c also force bt also force at square also force yes sir. so we have to equate it right so yes, sir. equal to c if i write like c. this this should make sense so whatever the dimensional formula of force which is also sir, just one minute sir my mother is calling sir one minute okay
Right. Sir. Are you there? Yes. Yes, sir. So force is equal to C here, right? Yes, sir. Force is equal to C. C. So whatever the dimensional formula of force, which is equal to the C, also same, right? Yes, sir. According to yes, this sir. equation, every term in the equation represents force. So we already yes, know the what is force, right? We already know that. Yes, sir. What is the force? What is, is force? equal to ma? Ma. Dimension formula is m l t minus two. Why? Because m is the m dimension formula. M capital M. A is yes, l t minus two, right? Yes, sir. Is clear. Acceleration l t minus acceleration is equal to what? Velocity by time. Yes, sir. So we already know that velocity l t minus one by t. This is going to be l t minus two. Is it clear? This one acceleration is clear. So you know that acceleration yes, dimension from the right. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Yeah. F is equal to m a. We come. So now the yes, dimensional formula for c is equal to how much? What is the dimension formula for c? Sir, M L M L T minus. Very good. So C is equal. We already got it. M L T minus two. So two. this is clear. Now the question is, we have to find B and C also, right? Yes, sir. So again, we have to equate it. F is equal to B T. Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay, how do we calculate? You have to write the dimensional formula of force again. M L T minus two. Now I want to find B, right? So when I want to find B, what should I do? I should uh, remove this T, right? Yes, sir. How can I remove uh, T? I want to write separately B. So what should I write? M L T minus two on the right side. And this is a T, right? When I want to bring yes, to the other side, where it, where should it, where it should go? T is what? T dimensional formula is capital T, right? Time. Capital T. So it should come to the numerator or denominator. Numerator. Huh? Numerator. Sir. T is here multiplying, right? When I denominator, sir. Denominator. So what is going to be now? Tell me. When I bring it again now to the numerator, if I want to bring t to the numerator, I should able to write like this. Yes, sir. So tell me what is going to be now? What is the dimension formula of b? T. M L. T. M L minus. M L no. M L T minus yes, three. Yes, sir. No, did you understand first? Tell me. Understood, sir. So we got C and B. We got yes. C and B. So now your job is A. So if you understand perfectly C and B, yes, you, can, you have to show me now how to calculate A. Yes, sir. B. So please do it. F is equal to a t square, right? Yes, sir. Which is equal to m l t minus two. Yes, sir. Please do it. So now tell me the dimension formula of A. Dimension formula of A. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to calculate this A guy. How do you calculate it? 
when i want to calculate a, b we did it right we brought it b into the denominator then we got it into the like that yes sir so a dimension formula it's your job to tell me a dimension formula um This t square, this t square, where does where where does it go? No, it's not. No, here there is a t square, right? It is multiplying yes, here. Sir. When you yes, want sir. to bring it to the other side, where does it go? Numerator or denominator? Denominator. So write it and tell me, bro. No. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now I already wrote it ml t minus two by t square. So now yes, the job is a is equal to tell me yes, ml t minus how much? Yes, ml t minus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not yes. understanding properly. Yeah, you tell me where you didn't understand. Because I was near uh, a is equal to uh, means a is ml ml t square minus t ml ml t power minus two no sir here. Yeah. By t square we got that one I did not. No, I got. I this is the formula of force, right? M L T minus two. Yes, sir. Till that clear, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, a t square is equal to M L T minus two. You just equate these two, then find out a. Suppose like it's simple, a x square is equal to two. What is the two a value? Yes, sir. What 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 is the a value now? Tell me. If I write like this. A x square equal to a is equal to how much? A is equal to two by x square, right? Yes, sir. So tell me here, a t square is equal to this. A is equal to how much? A is equal to m l t m l t minus two by t square. Okay. Then after that, what is going to be? When I want to simplify this one, m l t will get sir. No, you should think about it a little more. So when I want to, can you able to simplify this? How do you get the simplification? M L T minus two by T square. How do we what? Yes, how do you simplify it? M L T minus two by T T square. You bring this to the numerator. What is going to be? When you bring T square to the numerator. What is going to be? Tell me. MLT minus something. MLT minus four, sir. Yeah, I wrote it here. MLT minus four. So A is equal to MLT minus four. Okay. Yes, so a is equal to m l t minus four. So this way you have yes, to. It could be any type of equation, but you have to apply like this. You have to do the, the method okay, is same. Okay, sir. Okay, is it clear? Yes, sir. So can I erase it, or do you want to copy, or do you want to at least screenshot? I want to copy, sir. One minute. Sir. I think take the screenshot. It's very tough to to copy everything, right? Sir, uh, half I copied, sir. Means, sir, uh, in computer I'm not able to uh, take screenshot. Did you did you get this? Uh, there is a. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Snipe. Did you type sniping tool? Yes, sir. There is a sniping. So go to the start button and. Search the sniping tool. Sir, sir, here in here annotate I got sir. Save to folder. Huh? Near annotate I got sir. Okay, okay. Save to folder. Okay, okay.
Yes, sir. Come here. Okay. Suppose one more question I'm going to do, then we'll move into the motion in a straight line. First, uh, there is a uh, one more uh, equation I'm going G M small m by d square. This is actually one of the physics equation, like, you know, Newton gravitational law. Okay. What, yes, sir. So what I am asking here, I'm going to tell F is a force. Okay. G, uh, G is some constant, gravitational constant. Okay. But we need to find this one. What is the dimension formula of G? So capital M, small m are the masses. Masses. Okay. D is the distance. Okay. Yes, sir. So, okay. Then now I am asking, G, what is the dimensional formula for G? So I gave almost all. So this is a force, a D is the distance, M is the mass, M is the mass. So yes, what sir. is asking, what is asking G, right? Dimensional formula yes, for G. Yes, sir. So when I, when you want to, when you would like to calculate some physical quantity, which you don't know, you should keep one side, right? The others, you, are, yes, you have to bring other physical quantity to the other side. So from this equation, I would like to uh, keep one side capital G, then bring all other terms to the other side. So capital G is equal to, what is going to be tell me? I want to write equation for G. So yes, F D square cross multiply, right? By capital M, small m, right? Yes, is it sir. clear from yeah. the above equation? Can I able to write it like this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, from this equation, can we able to write G is equal to FD square by MM? Is it, it, does it make sense? Is it okay? Yes, sir. It's correct. It's correct, right? So we, we, yes, we just multiplied this cross multiplied and divide by MM. Okay. Okay. Sir. So now, what is the dimension formula of force? We just completed M L force dimension. M L M L T minus two. Yes, very good. M L T minus two. Then D means what? What is the D value? Tell me. D value is uh, D is what? D M L distance. Distance means what? It should be related distance. When I say distance, depth, thickness, length, everything is L only, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So it should okay. be L square. I have to write, um, what should I write? L square. L square. D square is there, right? So I have to write L square. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Then I should move for the mm what is m here masses right both are masses yes, so dimensional formula for mass what m right capital m so two masses yes, there so i should write m power two right m square right yes, so for this capital mass also m, small mass also same m so when i write my m into m it's going to be m square right from this equation, yes, you tell me the, you tell me the uh, dimension formula for G. So we are trying to calculate the dimension formula for G here. Yeah. Tell me from this, can you able to simplify yes, here? You just need to bring yes, this yes, M square into the numerator. Okay. So numerator. Ah, when I want to keep M is M, when I keep in M numerator, it's going to be M minus two because we have plus two denominator. When I want to uh, bring it to the numerator, it's, uh, it's a power going to be minus, right? Okay. 
then what else parameter there uh, l t l here l is there one of the l is here the other l is here right so when i want to simplify yes, these sir. two l's what happen l into l cube how much l into l square what can i write tell me l into l square bases are same power should be added so how much it is yes sir how yes, sir. much nana l power 1 l power so l power 1 l power 2 how much l power how much sir no i am asking what is the value of this l power 1 is sir l power 1 l power 1 l power 2 no sir l power 3 will get sir okay right this is going to be l power 3 So what is left over term here? T power minus two, right? So I am just writing as is. I brought this into the numerator. Yes. L into L square L cube. T power minus two. I am keeping as is. Okay. Is it okay? Yes. Sir. So final equation. Yes, tell sir. me. What is the m power? Tell me. Here m power one is there. M power minus two there. What is going to be m power? Tell me. M power is equal to plus one minus two. Plus one, plus one minus two, my, one sir. Plus one or minus? Minus one. one. Yes. So minus, minus one sir. L cube power minus two. This is the dimensional formula of Newton gravitational constant. Yes sir. Newton gravitational constant. Okay, over. Okay. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Clear, sir. Can I clear it? Can I uh, clear the board? One minute, sir. Just one minute. Okay. I'll just take the other screen. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me. So I have some slides here. Let me focus it. Okay. So motion in a straight line. Okay. What is the motion in a straight line? When I want to explain, when you want to learn motion in a straight line. so what is going to be actual what do you understand motion in a straight line what do you what do you mean in what do you mean of these terms motion means it's like a, you have the uh, change in uh, some distance or displacement right straight line means the the motion in a one line basically right so the motion should be limited to the one axis right it shouldn't be like a plane yes, sir, right yes, motion in a straight line what yes, is the meaning the motion confined to be in a single direction right so that's what i understand so what do you understand is, do you agree with me yes, so motion in a straight line my understanding is 
the object is moving in a single direction it could be x it could be y it could be z but its motion is confined means limited to the one direction so such kind of motion is called sir video you, sir uh, the board is stopping sir i think your signal is not clear sir Constriction. I don't think so. Can you can you able to see that right now? I mean, I don't know whether uh, it seems like a okay signal. Can you able to see now? Are you able to see that? What is no, the problem? Sir. What is the no, problem? Sir. Okay. What's the problem? Sir. What is the problem? Hello. Sir, your voice is not clear, sir. So how about now? Maybe. Now also the same. Okay, let me. Uh, I don't know whether it helps, but uh, let me check it. So okay, how about now? Now okay. Sir. Okay. So what is uh, what do you mean by motion in a straight line? When I want to, I mean, suppose if I ask you, you know, uh, what your, what is your opinion about the, I mean, what is your answer? Motion in a straight line means what are you going to study? Can you give me one example that you want to, like, you know, give example for the motion in a straight line? Motion in a straight, motion of object limited to the, or uh, confined to the yes, sir. one direction, right? Confined to the one direction, sir. Like you are going only one direction, yes, sir. Confined. If, suppose you are you are going in a like you know suppose uh, you know walking in a one direction like you are you are walking from one point to other point that is also motion in a straight line. Uh, yes, sir. Suppose if you throw a ball that is going to be two direction, two plane, right? When you throw on a ball object, when you throw a ball. Yes, that is going into two directions, up and the up, it is going to up as yes, well sir. as the forward direction. So that is going to be two directions, plane. Yes, we sir. call it that is a plane. So now we are, uh, you know, uh, yes, motion sir. in a straight line means the motion of object should be confined to a uh, one direction. It could be X, it could be Y, it could be Z, okay? Yes, sir. Right. Understood. So sir, now, one minute, sir. Yes. So now, as we already discussed about the distance and displacement. Okay. So what is the distance and displacement? Our understanding is according to whatever we discussed previously. What do you understand? Displacement is a. What is the difference between the distance and displacement for now? Sir, sir. What is the? Actually, my Wi-Fi is not correct, sir. My Wi-Fi only problem. Is okay. Here, sir. What is the dif uh, difference between the distance and displacement? I mean, we have Dis distance and displacement, sir. Yes. Uh, displacement. Uh, displacement is a vector, and uh, distance is a scalar. I think so. I don't remember properly. Okay, then. What is what? What else, other? Sir. Uh, how about other other difference? This is a gen basically okay. It is there on the slide. But how about what is the sir. definition of displacement? I told you right previously. Uh, there are two differences. Sir. One is a scalar vector that is good. How about yes, other sir. one? It depends on something. It uh, like you know distance depends on something. Displacement depends on something. Uh, uh, don't. No, no. Uh, just think problem. about it. Don't say no. I sure you know that, but you should uh, think about it. Here, the figure itself it tells you displacement is what here. What do you understand displacement from this? Ah, uh, displacement is the sir. I will tell sir. Displacement is the um, shortest distance. Uh, shortest distance of the. Uh, initial point and final point, sir. Uh, distance, uh, displacement, distance is the 
one minute sir displacement means sir uh, shortest distance between final and initial points sir okay uh, distance means sir uh, the way they traveled uh, the way they traveled from a uh, uh, they travel from initial point to so distance final does point. not depend on the like initial and final point it depends on the path which it which it traveled right a to b so distance definitely i i have given many example on that day so displacement yes, is the shortest path suppose if you are in delhi yes, i am in hyderabad so whichever is the shortest path if i if i hold a thread from my hand to your hand straight line in the space so that is a displacement yes, I, it doesn't depend on the you know the path that is like i went from mumbai mumbai to bangalore bangalore to delhi doesn't matter it just yes, matter of the initial and final point displacement right distance yes, is not like that distance it you know it depends on path the way that you travel from yes, a to b there are many ways to reach from a to b right you can go like this yes sir you can go like this you can go anywhere it doesn't matter but these are all distances but displacement always straight line between a and b right so the two differences the first one distance uh, displacement is it is the shortest 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 yes, what distance Or shortest length you can say, okay. Yes, sir. And distance is the it, it it and it also depends on initial line. Depends on only only what initial only line. Only initial and final. Final initial and final point. But distance depends on. depends on path right path it travel the another difference is of course it is a scalar quantity right and this one is yes, vector quantity right displacement is a vector quantity definitely it, it has a direction you have to uh represent a vector you have to show like this vector a to b this is a to b but distance doesn't matter if you come yes, from sir. your place to my place in many ways are there right you can come yes, by sir. flight directly that is a distance displacement you can say from direct to, yes, you know sir. from your place to my place if you come by bus car scooter cycle There are different paths are there, right? Mm -hmm. So that is actual distance. Did you get it? Yes, sir. So distance is scalar quantities. Can displacement equal to distance? Is there any case? Do you know? I mean, do, can you tell me the situation when distance equal to displacement? Is there any situation, please? Yes, sir. Did you understand my question? And understand. Distance equal to displacement. Is there any situation there? Yes, sir. There, sir. Where? Which situation, please? Sir, when uh, 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 when distance uh, when distance will be in the same path of uh, displacement. What do you mean? That is. Suppose what? Suppose. Uh, Uh, a A B are the two points, right? Yes, In this case, can I say distance equal displacement? Yes. Ten meter distance A to B. What is the distance and what is the displacement? Yes. Both both are same, right? Yes. So distance displacement are same only when there is a Direct path from A to B or straight line, right? Yes, sir. Should be a straight line. 
Suppose yes, if I come back to the A again here, okay? So now tell me, yes, distance and displacement. Suppose this is a 20 meters. Yes, the person, <clears throat> the person went from A to B in this yes, path, 10 meter, it traveled. Then while coming back to A, he followed different path. That is 20 meters. So now the person is at A. Now the person, where is the person I'm, tell, I'm talking about? The person is at A, a only. Yes, so you tell me, what is my displacement? What is the distance? Think about Pranav. It's easy question. I'm saying that the person went from A to B. Okay, in a straight line, yes, sir. 10 meters. Then while coming back, he came from other way, which is 20 meters. So now the, yes, he is sir. at home. Same, he started from home. Again, he came, he came back to the home. Yes, sir. What is the displacement? Zero. Very good. So displacement is zero. How about distance? Distance is 10 meters. No, no, no. Think about it. 20, 20, 20 meters. No, no, no. Still. It started from A. No. Yes. So A to B, how much? Started from A, sir. So A to B, how much? 10 meters. So B to C, B to A, how much? 10 meters. No. B to A is coming from this way. 20 meters. So total how much? 30. 30 meters. Distance is 30 meters. Displacement is zero. Now is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, now you don't have any doubt on distance and displacement. Right? Yes, sir. So even, yes, sir. If, I, even if I give more problems, you are able to do it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I clear it? Yes, sir. One minute, one minute, one minute. Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I clear it now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now tell me. Sir, clear, sir. Okay. So now another, uh, you know, the way I think we discuss this again, speed and velocity. Right? Speed yes, and velocity. What is the speed? What is the velocity? According to you, uh, Pranav, sir. What I, my suggestion for you, I mean, if you don't mind it, like, you know, everything you can ask your brain to think first. Okay. Yes, sir. Not only physics, you can ask chemistry, mass, anything. Suppose someone started, yes, mass teacher came to your class and he started algebra. Today we are going to start algebra, so on, so, so, x square plus y square, whatever. Yes, sir. First question you can ask them. What is algebra? Right? Then you yes, ask, sir. why we need to learn it, madam? What should I, what is the point of this learning? Where we can use it? Okay? Yes, sir. This sort of question can help you a lot to, you, to increase your brain uh, capacity. Like the brain yes, always sir. want to innovative thinking, new thinkings, not like a boring thing. So you have, you need to feel so exciting. Wow, really great. Now I understand the distance displacement. Very good. So I can ask, I can create a one problem and tell them my friends, hey guys, today I'm going to give a problem. Can yes, you solve it? Yes, they tell me. Hey, my friend came to, from Delhi to Hyderabad by traveling thousand kilometers by flight, but I, what I did, I mean, I, I uh, but he went to the Delhi again by train, 2000 kilometers. So now tell yes. me, what is the displacement? Zero, sir. 
what is the distance yes. 1000 yes so this kind of I mean you should apply it in day to day life don't think this physics is ah uh, bore sir no don't think this is very exciting you feel like everything yes, wow really great i should understand like that so not only even chemistry suppose when you mix some two chemical i mean when you mix two atoms sodium and chloride and they form sodium chloride how it forms what is sodium chloride and what is sodium why they are mixing together i mean sodium is a pole like in 11 and chloride is two, uh, 17 why they are making sodium chloride what is the point of that why should why should we learn it so these sort of question you have to develop it okay yes sir. So don't buy hard anything and don't copy anything don't even uh, uh, you know quite also you should always be interactive within the class and uh, and feel so exciting when you are thinking and get answer wow i got answer today so i have to think a little more effort so keep effort definitely you'll have a lot of uh, you know excitement lot of happiness really i'm telling you when when you start thinking about any subject you never know the time flies like anything whenever you get a time you relax it oh what was the physics class today okay sure. what was i what was what was you asked was asking what was the chemistry class I feel like boring i was just sleepy it was sleepy why it was sleepy because your brain was not thinking so so yes. start thinking 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 don't you should give yes. some work to the brain give some work to the brain but don't believe completely technology yes. see google is there to get anything but don't don't depends on google always first you yes. think first you think try like you know you try it your brain so definitely yes, have a bright future i think you will settle you will have a really great life but the only thing my suggestion is you know you have you are thinking very good little more yes, effort, you have to ask your brain to think okay yes sir. great thank you so okay so coming to the speed and velocity so you can think about speed is related to the distance right because uh, uh, the speed came from the distance by time, right? Velocity, you got it by displacement by yes, time, right? So now tell me, this is a is this is a vector or this is this is a vector? Which one is a vector? This is sir, uh, uh, velocity is vector. Why? Because displacement is a vector, right? Yes, sir. Yes, so velocity is a vector because of displacement. So you don't need to buy hard this velocity is a vector, velocity is a vector. No. Yes, we already yes, learned that displacement is the shortest path. It depends on vector. So when I say a person started from A to B and then he returned back to A means we said displacement zero. Why? How it should be zero? It means 10 is the positive 10. When it's coming back minus 10 because displacement is a vector quantity when you are going from positive axis you should take plus when you are coming from negative axis you should take minus 10 so 10 minus 10 is going to be zero is it clear yes, why displacement is zero if the initial and final point is same so this is because of one is positive, the other one is negative. Okay? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. And uh, in cars, basically, basically, you know, in a car, when you see the speedometer, that is related to the speed. It doesn't give the velocity. But when you're traveling in a particular direction, north, day, north side, south side, you should talk about the, you know, uh, you should tell that the car is moving kilo or 20 meter per second in a north direction okay or east yes. direction when they specified like this you should uh, you should know that that is a velocity okay if they don't specify simply saying that 
ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर फॉर आवर इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफाइड डायरेक्शन सो यू शुड थिंक दिस इज ए वट इज दैट स्पीड ओके सो इज इट क्लियर स्पीड एंड वेल आस The difference is also we got it. Speed is a speed is what? It's a distance by time. Velocity is a displacement by time. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. Speed always what? It 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 doesn't depend on the direction. Velocity it depend on the direction. Okay. Yes, sir. Can I clear it? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So this one also we discussed instantaneous velocity. What is instantaneous velocity? What is instantaneous speed? instantaneous meaning what do you understand what is instantaneous meaning no sir i don't know instant means what instant of time uh, instant means uh, as fast as yeah instant mean at that particular time suppose what is the speed now what is the speed at uh, you know 8 o'clock what is the speed at uh, after 1 hour so the speed at that particular time is called instantaneous speed the velocity at that particular time is called instantaneous velocity okay yes, suppose uh, the car is here what is what is the speed of that car can give the instantaneous speed okay uh, okay sir the velocity also it uh, you know a particular time what was the velocity of the car moving in a north direction at that 2 2 pm time so you are specifying the particular instant of time okay it's a period of yes, time sir. particular time it's not like a average average means you take from year to year right but you, when you talk yes. about instantaneous means at that particular of time okay yeah so that is about uh, instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity okay so they are normal uh, definition of velocity and speed but only instantaneous means at that particular period of time okay yes sir so only so very interesting one i think we already shared this one but uh, uh let me so as i mentioned uh, before the relation what is the relation between the what is the relation between the acceleration velocity yes, and displacement what is the relation between this uh, terminology uh did you get it now i am asking what is the relation between the these three parameters a v displacement what are the relation between them tell me uh, uh i know relation between uh, velocity and acceleration sir. okay tell me acceleration means uh, the rate of change of velocity sir okay then velocity is equal to distance by time displacement so you know that relation right how do we get yes, a it's a slope of velocity right velocity time graph right so vel acceleration yes, is actually dv by dt and it's a just basically change in velocity or also you can also say delta v by delta t change in yes, velocity sir. to the change in time right so if you want to calculate acceleration which graph you are looking tell me you should look for the velocity versus time right yes sir if you want to velocity which graph you are you have to look tell me displacement versus yes sir time graph right 
if if you want to elastic which graph we have to get a draw you should draw time along x axis along y axis displacement okay if you want acceleration the graph should be time between time and velocity right velocity by time yes sir so why i am writing this because it is there a is equal to v by t v is equal to d by t a comes only when you are drawing the plot between velocity and time v is displacement by time okay yes sir so okay, sir. the question is here when i say acceleration is equal to delta v by delta t and velocity is equal to delta d by uh, delta t yes, so sir. these are the slopes actually slopes did you uh, study uh, slope how to find slope between two points in mathematics yes, uh, suppose you have x1 y1 yes sir. 2 y2 okay do you know how to calculate slope i mean did they study coordinate geometry y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 did you study this one no sir coordinate geometry you didn't study this one uh coordinate geometry uh, coordinate geometry uh, in tenth it will be there sir huh in 10th it will be there sir no i mean iit they are teaching right i mean 9th also there i can see cbsc my son in cbsc yes that is this i mean i guess car means sri chaitanya definitely they would teach this 9th yes but anyway i don't know whether they are teaching i am not sure but that's not my uh, job yes sir so whatever but uh, the question is i am trying to uh i'm trying to connect you relation between the velocity acceleration and time uh displacement yes sir here there are three graphs are there a b c right here there are yes, three oh. graphs are there okay so uh when uh, the first one is here this yes, Displacement to the, the first graph is displacement to the time graph, right? Yes, sir. Displacement to the time graph. It. Yes, sir. The graph seems like this. Okay. The second one, velocity to the time graph. Okay. Yes, sir. Third one is. acceleration to the time graph okay yes now the questions i am i want to ask here when i when i have a this graph what is the meaning of this it's not changing right it just parallel to the yes, x x so acceleration is parallel to time time axis means it is not changing right it is just constant value right Did you understand, uh, Prano? Here, y, yes, axis, y axis is acceleration, x axis is time, right? So this uh, acceleration is basically it's it's not changing it, with respect to time. Whatever the suppose five second time here, the object is here. Even if I see ten seconds, also same. even if i see 15 seconds also same value right acceleration is not changing right yes sir so in that case what acceleration is unif it's not changing yes sir if it is so what we can say is a is uniform okay so acceleration yes, if, if it is changing like this it is changing with respect to time but if it is not changing so you can say that uh in the last c graph basically acceleration is constant sometimes they'll ask they give the graph they'll ask what is that acceleration here 
Acceleration is constant. How about B? What do you observe here? It is a y axis is V, x axis is time. Okay? So here velocity is changing or constant? Yes. Tell me, vela is velocity changing or constant? Constant, sir. See, Pranav, see what we observe here. No, sir, sir it, it will be changing, sir. Changing, sir. So it is changing with respect to time t, right? It is not constant, yes, right? Sir. Whatever value yes, here is different than the whatever value is here, right? Yes, sir. So every time it's not constant value. Velocity is changing with respect to time. Yes, sir. Velocity changing with respect to time. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Officer. If velocity changing with respect to time, constantly it's changing. It's a, like a straight line which is going through the origin. It is not changing randomly. It is not changing randomly, right? Yes, sir. It is changing uniformly, right? Yes, sir. If it is changing uniformly, the acceleration is constant. You said that acceleration is rate of change of velocity, right? Yes, sir. So acceleration is constant because the velocity is not changing rapidly. It's just changing, but uniformly changing. It is changing, yes, but uniformly changing. Suppose first five minute, five, first five minutes, it acquired some uh, velocity, 10, 10 meters per second. In next to 10 seconds also same. The rate should be same. First 10 seconds, 10 meters per second. Next 10 seconds, 10 meters per second. Then after also same. In that case, uniform acceleration. Okay? So that, that is a uniform acceleration. Velocity changing uniformly. Okay? Yes, did you understand? Pranav, did you understand? Understood. Can I clear it? Can I clear it? Yes, sir. Did you copy or uh, screenshot, whatever? Ah, I took the screenshot, sir. Okay. So I'm going to close it. Okay, sir. Clear it, yes. So now, here there is an important thing that you have to observe it. Let me check how, what are you going to tell. Can you differentiate these graphs, uh, Pranav? Yes, sir. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, along y-axis, this is a x uh, displacement versus time. Okay. Displacement versus time. Yes. Tell me, can you able to tell that what is the difference among these three graphs? A, yes, B, C. All are distance versus time graph. Yes, All are yes, distance versus time only. All, yes. all graphs are distance versus time only. But what is the yes, difference? Tell me. Think about it. Definitely, I think you can able to do it. Just think about it. Uh, one minute, sir. I did not. One, one second, sir. So these three graphs are represent the distance versus time graph, right? Yes, sir. First graph, second graph, third graph. All graphs are y-axis is x, distance displacement, x-axis is time. Yes, sir. So now the tell me. First graph is changing like this. Second graph is changing in the different manner. Okay. Yes, sir. Third graph is changing like this. What is the difference that you observe here? What is actually? 
Means what is your question, sir? I did not understand. Properly. What is the motion of object in this case? A, B. Okay, sir. In this case, the motion is fast. In case A. Hmm. Case B, it is slowing down. Okay. And case C, it is constant. Means zero, sir. Ah, uh, case three. It is constant, zero speed. So what is it? What is zero? Uh, constant. I know it is constant. Of I can see. We can see clearly because there is yes, a sir. flat graph. It's just flat. It, it's not changing. Yes, so displacement is not changing with respect to time, which means what? Rest position graph. This is rest position graph. Yes, the sir. position is not changing with respect to time. Is the body is at a rest, right? The body yes, that object is at stationary. It's not changing, right? Yes, sir. Right? Is it changing? Yes, sir. No, right? If I see now and no, if sir. tomorrow also the object is same place. Yes, sir. The the school is situated today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, also same place. So the school building is not moving. Yes, sir. Right. So that yes, the, they'll ask question this kind of question. The graph they give like this, and they'll ask what type of this motion. The motion is at rest. The body motion is at rest. There is no motion action. So how yes, about sir. B, A and B? What is the difference A and B? Which one is going faster? Which one is going slower? Yes. A is greater than B, or which one? A is greater, A is greater than B, sir. B is greater than A. Yes, sir. Which one? B A is greater than B. B yes, sir. A is greater than B sir. Okay. How how can how can you how can you argue this? Suppose someone asks you how how if it A is greater than B, why B is greater than A, why? Yeah, you can think. Don't uh, don't be uh, nervous, but still think about it. What is actually? Uh, yes, Suppose when you want to find slope here and here, yes, sir. Which slope is more? Slope is more, right? Yes, sir. When you want to calculate slope, slope is actually the displacement by time can give the velocity, right? Yes, sir. So displacement by time slope can give the velocity. But when I want to calculate here velocity displacement by time. Very less quantity, so changing is very less, right? The slope, yes, sir. it's more steeper, right? The the graph is more yes, steeper, and more steeper. You think about more uh, faster speed. So when you see the graph yes, in steeper, that means more speed, highest speed. Here it's not a shallow, right? It's not a, it's a shallow. Means not so speed. Yes, sir. It's not a steep, right? So slower. Yes, sir. It's a slow, slow motion. Speed motion. Yes, sir. Slow motion. Rest to. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Suppose if I ask you to draw three graphs, stating that one is fast, the other one is uh, medium, the other one is rest. So we are able to draw the graphs, right? Yes, sir. So suppose if I ask in the exam, okay, yes. if I ask in the exam, draw the graphs, yes. draw the graphs, okay, draw the graphs which represent, which represent three different motions. One is at rest, the other, <coughs> the other one is at uh, medium speed. Yes, sir. The last one is highest speed. So you are able to draw, yes, right? Draw. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Suppose someone asks yes, you, sir. can you draw the plots for an object which is at rest? Yes. Yes, sir. I know it. Displacement versus time graph 
so this is uh, this is exactly flat if i draw it sorry so this x versus so it should be this is a present rest right suppose if someone ask you differentiate the slow motion and fast motion slow motion fast suppose this is the graph between the time and displacement time time fast motion should be more slow so they will give like this a yes, b and the other one is c so there are three objects are there here yes, okay yes you want something is like this d so they gonna ask here which is greatest speed here tell me which object is now there are four objects a b c d which object yes sir as more speed a. tell me a a great then b then c, c. then d so this is a very simple physics is like you know you can play with football so yes, physics is very easy but the concepts are important you should you know understand perfectly if you have any doubt ask me okay so moving yes, can i raise it yes sir uh, what do you want to copy tell me Yes, sir. Can I clear? Yeah, one minute, sir. Okay. One, 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 one. Yes, sir. Now. So this is your job. Tell me now again. The big question is there. Can you help me to get answers here? I don't know whether. I think you should tell me. What is this? Tell me. Here velocity versus yes, time graph. First graph is velocity versus time graph. What is this represent? Yes. I mean, what type of motion you tell me? This one. Think about it. Velocity along y-axis, time along x-axis. Yes, now you should think about how velocity changing with respect to time does it changing with respect to time or does it something else tell me tell me nicely yeah just think about it previous slide previous slide we were working on the displacement now we are working on the velocity graphs yes sir the so first two graph represent what i'll give clue also yes sir so one is that uh, you know clue means is the object is at rest or moving with something tell me object is it uh, rest sir no that is wrong because uh, time is going but velocity is not changing yes, not rest right it has some value here yes sir it's not zero right the object is not yes, rest because it is moving with a constant yes, velocity right yes sir Suppose ten kilometer per hour. Suppose it is ten year. So ten kilometer per hour, it is going like a constant velocity, not increasing, not decreasing. Car is going cool, very slowly, ten kilometer per hour or thirty kilometers per hour. So yes, what you can say here, constant motion. What type of motion? Constant. Yes. constant motion someone ask you draw constant motion graph means you should try you should draw this okay yes sir 
They can grab. Tell me. I think you should be able to do this. Here velocity, time graph, same. Yes, and tell me what is going on here. Please try. Please try. Yes. What do you think about the devil's graph? What is going on? Don't uh, you know? Uh, you know, it's a very simple. By looking graph, what you observe? Tell me. Yes. Sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. Can you describe this graph, the B graph? Yes, sir. What is this motion? What is the type of motion here? What is the motion yes, of this piece? How the object is moving? Please, please, faster. Yes, sir. Yeah, tell me, Prano. What I mean, I'm expecting from your response. I'm, I want to hear from your response. What is actually here the velocity? How velocity changing with respect to time? In the previous A case we have we mentioned that it is not changing with respect to time. So we yes, use yes, constant motion. The first one is constant motion. We concluded this is a constant motion. Now tell me B. What is yes, that? Sir. Is it constant? Or is it something else? Run no. out, please. Tell me. Sir. Sir. Yeah. Um, I was in now just to describe about now, the velocity increases sir yes the velocity is increasing on constantly it is increasing right? with respect to time it is increasing okay so the velocity is not constant it is changing but with respect to time it could be equal change or maybe not but it is increasing right yes sir velocity is here is different than velocity is here is different where so velocity is not the velocity is not constant. It is changing with respect to time, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. So velocity changing. So here you can say velocity changing. So when velocity changing, what are you gonna get? Acceleration, right? Yes, sir. So when the velocity is constant, acceleration equal to zero, right? The first graph case acceleration is zero. Clear? Yes, sir. When there is no change in velocity, the final velocity equal to initial velocity. So, yes, sir. no change. Okay, sir. So, acceleration is equal to? No. Yeah, it's zero basically. So, whenever yes, there is no change in velocity, Acceleration is zero. Whenever there is a change in velocity, acceleration is there. So okay, this yes, is sir. so the velocity change is positive because it is increasing, yes, right? Positive change. Coming to yes, C, it is changing but negative direction, right? Decreasing. Yes, sir. So in this case, what is our type of motion? Velocity yes, is decreasing. Right? Velocity yes, decreases. So this is a kind of like a in here it is increasing. Yes, sir. Here velocity decreases. Yes, sir. Here also you have the negative acceleration. Retardation, we call it as a retardation, decreasing, right? When velocity decreases, yes, acceleration also decreases. Coming to the this graph, which one D? What is it? Yes, How from looking this, uh, you know, view, what are you gonna say? So, for, uh, this is also velocity versus time graph. 
Yes, sir. Uh, initially, the object started from this speed. Some speed was there. It's not zero. Here it's a zero, but it's not zero here, right? Yes, sir. It started from with a velocity, then changing, right? It's not constant. It is also changing. But here in this case, initial velocity yes, is not zero. Initial velocity is not equal to zero, right? Here initial velocity is yes, equal sir. to zero, right? At this point initial velocity how much? It, the object sir, started from velocity. origin, right? Yes, sir. Last zero. How about here velocity is maximum? Because at zero velocity is high, right? Yes, sir. So in this case. Velocity has some finite value, even at zero time, it is moving, right? Yes, sir. So it has a finite value velocity, then increasing. So the motion is actually velocity is changing, but initial velocity is equal to not equal to zero. Okay. Yes, sir. How about this? It is also changing, but not like a linear, right? It's curvilinear more, curvilinear, right? Yes, sir. It's not like a straight line, right? It's not like this. It's a curvilinear, right? Curvilinear means it is not changing like a linearly. Okay. Understand? Understand. So now the last. This is the F coming to the F. Okay, this is also velocity versus time graph. Okay, from A to B, sure. how velocity changing? Tell me, velocity is increasing or decreasing? Yes. Sir. No, no. Question is from A to B, is velocity increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Very good. Increasing. How would B to C? How would B to C? Yeah. How would B to C motion? Yes, yes increasing. What is going? To, tell me, just see this. What does it changing something? Like what is going on here? Tell me. Flat. What you observe here? First one, a graph. Sir, yes, sir. What is that? Ah, uh, constant means. Yes, constant velocity. So velocity is not changing; it's just constant, going like you know. Velocity increases, sir. Then uh, velocity is constant, sir. Then decreases. Yes, decreasing. So it's like you know, going faster, going faster initially. Then after some time, going like a you know uh, very like you know constant velocity. You know you're going always yes, like sir. 50 kilometer per hour. Then after that, when you are close to your tired, so tired. Then you become like a slowing down very slowly, right? Yes, so is it is it clear? Yes. So can I close it? I mean, can we stop? Yes, sir. Can we stop it today? Okay, sir. So any doubts? No, sir. Okay. Can I clear it? Yes, sir. Did you copy? Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Yes. Pranav. Sure. Can I clear it? Yes, sir. Okay. Any doubt? Do I? Do you have any doubts? Sure. Yeah. Do you have any doubts? Yes sir. Okay, so I'm going to close now. 
तो गुड नाइट एंड यू नो